If you've already read Deuteronomy 23, you're probably thinking, well, they sure didn't cover this in Sunday school. <laughs> it's, it's rather an adult chapter for sure, starting right out the gate in verse 1. But here are some things to know. These are not laws of punishment. They're practical and symbolic. The second half is practical in that it deals with cleanliness. The first half of the chapter is symbolic. The chapter lists three groups of men that cannot enter the congregation of the Lord. So first, we need to define the congregation of the Lord. And good luck, because there's a hundred explanations. But the most credible are this, men wanting to convert to Judaism, marry Jewish women, and or hold a high position. Now most of these men had not personally done anything wrong themselves. There's no evidence that it affected their personal relationship with God or people. For the people of that time, it was simply a public reminder that God's people are to be set apart. And for us, it's a foreshadowing or depiction of Matthew 7, 21, where it says, Not every one that says unto me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Each one of these verses represents groups that Jesus said will not enter the kingdom of God. In verse 1, the eunuch represents people that do not bear the fruit of the Spirit. In Matthew 21, verse 43, Jesus said, The kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation that will produce the proper fruit. In verse 2, the illegitimate son represents those who try to enter the kingdom of, of God without Jesus. In John 14, 6, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. In verse 3, the Ammonites and the Moabites represent those that do not do the will of the Father. It parallels the story in Matthew 25, verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. 